future of automotive clay is here, guys. So what's up? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. For decades, we've known clay bars as this putty-like material, right? And these are made to remove embedded contamination from your paintwork, mainly the clear coat, uh, things like industrial fallout, environmental pollutants, paint overspray, uh, some tree sap, uh, uh, rail dust, uh, also brake dust, a bunch of different things. You can combine this as well uh, with iron removal steps uh, or tar removers to remove chemical contamination. Uh, by the way, don't worry, I have a detailing 101 series for beginners explaining all of the different steps in car detailing from washing your car uh, to um, mechanical decontamination with a clay bar, chemical decontamination with iron removers and tar removers, uh, also machine polishing, paint protection, all that good stuff. I'll leave links to those tutorials in the description under the video, but today we're focusing on clay. So as much as this is good, this is pretty aggressive on the surface and it's made out of abrasives. Yes, clay bars are abrasive materials, hence why we usually follow the clay stage by a machine polishing stage to remove the marring induced by the um, clay media, right? So there are also uh, some caveats about using traditional clay bars. If you drop them, for example, you have to throw them in the garbage. They're not good anymore because you're going to have picked up all that dirt and debris inside there. It's sticky and you're going to risk scratching uh, your paint even further. So, and the use of these typically, depending of course on the level of contamination, they're good for anywhere between six to 10 cars on average. So there's been quite an evolution in uh, clay technology. And now we're with what we call synthetic clay clay material, but even that has evolved. So today we're going to have a look at the three common types. So you have clay towels, you have clay scrub sponges, and you also have clay mitts. So mitts, you can put your hand in there and use the media to decontaminate your car. They're not all built the same, so I'm going to give you the high quality ones. Uh, and by the way, guys, don't worry, I'll leave links to all the stuff I talk about in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Also, a quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. I'm just here to share my experience, uh, my thoughts, and opinions on all of this good stuff. So let me give you a bit of a background on how this started to evolve. So the first iterations that I'm aware of as far as um, synthetic clay media is concerned were things a bit like this where you have a flat clay texture, a synthetic clay that was applied onto here. Uh, and they're typically backed with a microfiber backing. Now that has evolved and the first perforated clay, uh, to my knowledge, back in the day was the uh, Optimum Ultra Clay Towel, right? So this uh, was kind of the brainchild, don't quote me on this, but the inventor of this perforated clay towel in media uh, was certainly Ivan LaCroix. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. He's a uh, part owner of DIY Detail. They produce some awesome products. We're going to talk about their clay towel, by the way, later on. So um, yeah, this was kind of his brainchild. He's been in the business for over 40 years at this point. He's widely known and a great detailer himself. And so he came up with this in the back, kind of a microfiber diamond weave pattern with an overlock stitch. And on the front was printed this perforated clay media. So this was kind of the first version of this. Uh, eventually, Optimum stopped producing these. Uh, Ivan moved on uh, to being a consultant for different brands and he started his own uh, brand with Nick McGurk, another detailer from the US, and they uh, started DIY Detail. And they have their own uh, synthetic perforated clay towel, which they call uh, their uh, synthetic, no, perforated synthetic decontamination towel. There we go. So more on that in just a few seconds. So uh, that was the first evolution. And then the uh, boys over at the rag company came out with their ultra clay line of products. So again, including these three. So they went with a bigger size, a 12 by 12 for the towel. So bigger 12 by 12 towel, which the cool part about the towel is we're going to dive into the advantages and why you would use each one. But you can fold this in four. So you have four uh, different surfaces to your clay towel, thus reducing the amount of pressure you have on the surface. And why they went with perforated clay media, first of all, this is either uh, a fine clay media, like on the um, rag company uh, towels, uh, the mitt and the sponge, or in the case of the DIY detail, it's an ultra fine layer. So first, the good, good thing about this, it will not mar your paint. So no marring induced, none of those light scratches or swirls from using traditional clay bars uh, with this synthetic clay media because there are no abrasives in there. Uh, also, the way they're made, if you notice once again, is these 
uh, clay towels, clay sponges, and clay mitts. Let me focus in on here. There we go. Uh, are perforated. So one of the reasons being is those holes, they allow for lubrication to pass through. So either you use your car wash soap as a lubricant or a clay lube or a detail spray. More on that in the end because I'm going to be talking about clay and seal as an option for many uh, professional detailers out there or yourself if you want to save some time so you clay and protect the uh, surface at the same time. Uh, and also we're going to do another step that saves time and efficiency, the um, use the clay and iron remover combined. So mechanical decontamination and chemical decontamination combined but beware uh, because not all iron removers can be used with uh, these clay materials. So I'll have more info on that coming later in the video. You want to stay tuned all the way till the end. So again, those uh, holes in the uh, clay media, they allow for lubrication to pass through. So whether you're using a rinseless wash solution or a soapy solution or your clay lubricant, uh, it gets into there, it gets absorbed by the microfiber backing in the back. And if you apply too much pressure on the surface, which you shouldn't just let the clay media do the job, uh, but for those of you who apply maybe too much pressure, well, out of those holes is gonna come more of that lubrication. So again, less chances of scratching and marring. Also, with these quality synthetic clay uh, medias, uh, you can use them on ceramic coatings. So we all know that using traditional clay bars on ceramic coatings is a no-no because these are abrasive and using abrasives on coatings will either damage or start to remove the coating itself. Think about machine polishing, right? They're abrasive compounding polishes and if you machine polish the ceramic coating, you're going to remove it. So the same thing with this. Don't forget, traditional clay bars are um, abrasives and they could damage the uh, ceramic coating. So these here, while they're not going to mar the surface, you can use these to decontaminate your ceramic coating or whatever protection you have on the surface and these will not damage your ceramic coating or graphene coating. Again, of course, always test in an inconspicuous area first and use proper techniques. You need lubrication with these on the surface. So uh, either a good rinseless wash like the DIY Detail Rinseless Wash. You have Optimum No Rinse, McKees 37 and 914. Uh, there's a PNS Absolute. There's a bunch of rinseless washes. I have a video where I compared all of them, by the way, uh, on my channel, but those are all top-notch uh, clay um, uh, rinseless washes, sorry, that you can use as clay lubes. The dilution ratios, by the way, are typically mentioned on the label. Some is a 1 to 256 ratio, other is a, is a 1 to 128 ratio for use as a clay lubricant. So follow the instructions on the rinseless wash you're using. Or again, you can use the soapy solution that's in your bucket as a lubricant or a dedicated clay lubricant, whatever you guys want. So those holes are going to allow for that lubrication to come out, hence less marring on the surface. Uh, they also are a spot for all the bigger pieces of dirt and debris to go into. So again, less chances of scratching or marring the surface. And also, uh, they're a uh, fantastic way to, to, um, to have clay media on, well, the media itself. Why? Because it's less prone to cracking. The holes allow for more flexibility of the clay media. Hence, you can get into more intricate areas or curves uh, on the uh, on the body uh, or the paintwork of your car itself. And so the media as well is less prone to cracking compared to the older iterations that did not have these perforations in them. So I'm going to give you also uh, a few tips. When you first start using your synthetic clay media, it is very important that you break them in. Uh, so how do you do that? Pretty simple. Just spray some lubricant or a bit of soapy solution on a glass surface like your windshield and you are going to scrub or decontaminate your windshield, which is a good thing at the same time. Uh, you can decontaminate glass because glass is porous when viewed under a microscope and it does accumulate contamination as well. So it's going to make the glass slick smooth and you're also going to break uh, this in. You only have need to break this in before the first use. After that, they're good to go. Next, how do you maintain them? That's an often asked question, right? Well, maintenance couldn't be any easier. First of all, uh, the good thing about synthetic clay media, if you drop it on the floor, you don't need to discard it or throw it away. You just rinse it off and you reuse. That's how simple it is. Uh, and they also last very, very long. Traditional clay bars, they're good for six to 10 vehicles, depending on the level of contamination on average. Uh, these can be good for dozens and dozens of uses. Uh, Ivan himself has been testing his clay media. And I think he said like in a shop for six months uh, in 
in a row every day they were using the clay media, that same clay media on 20 plus cars. So they're good for hundreds and hundreds of washes because uh, they're that much more durable. So if you're looking for something that is very efficient for your detailing business, look into synthetic clay material. Not only are they safer, but they last much longer. And uh, yeah, if you drop them on the floor, just rinse them and reuse them. So for how do you clean them, right? Uh, of course, depending on which ones, for these ones from the rag company, you can simply uh, rinse them. Uh, ideally, you would use warm water to just loosen all that gunk up and you can let them air dry and store them in their containers. So for the uh, clay mitt, you're gonna get the packaging that's like that. So don't throw the packaging away, keep them with you. For the uh, clay scrubber mitt, you can have, well, it comes in packs of two, so you can use that for storage. And the uh, clay towel comes with its um, storage packaging. So just keep those, you store them in there until your uh, next use. If they're a bit dirtier, for the ones from the rag company, uh, they also have recommended that you can clean them with a bit of APC. So you would rinse them out first, then spray a bit of APC. Uh, you can get things like uh, Koshemi, Green Star, um, or any other of your favorite APCs, diluted roughly one to 10. So uh, a medium use kind of thing, you spray it on there. You're gonna scrub with either a microfiber towel or scrub on itself, right? You fold it up. Then you're gonna rinse thoroughly with warm water and you're gonna let them air dry and repack them and that is good to go. For the DIY towel, uh, do not use all-purpose cleaners on them, so just rinse. Uh, you can dunk them in your wash bucket or your rinseless bucket solution. You're either going to take again a microfiber towel and scrub the surface or fold it on its own and scrub it like this. Thoroughly rinse it out, let them air dry and store them. That's how simple it is uh, they are to maintain. So now let's talk about the differences between each uh, form, right? So you have this clay towel, again, 12 by 12 size, diamond weave, tight, tight weave microfiber in the back. So this is super gentle. It has an overlock stitch up here in the front. And can I focus today? I'm having focusing issues. I don't know what's up. There we go. So overlock stitch up here. So very, very soft. And the clay media is printed or applied on that front part. So what are the advantages of the clay towel? First of all, uh, this is my preferred media, but again, it's a question of personal preference. So I like the clay towels best. You can fold them in four. And so you have one, two, and if you fold it the other side, three and four sides to use. So a little goes a long way. Also by folding it, you're getting a thicker portion of the towel on the surface. So you have kind of this padding. It distributes the force more evenly. And also because it is very pliable uh, and you can flex it a lot, it can go into more intricate areas of your vehicle, right? Intricate designs of bumpers, mirrors, so on and so forth. So I find this very versatile in its use. So the next one is the scrubber. So this one here is a sponge and the rag company, actually this was one of the ideas of Anthony over at uh, TRC. Uh, hello to the boys over at the rag company, Dane, Levi, Anthony, and all the group. They're a great bunch of guys. So uh, yeah, they thought about on one side having the uh, synthetic perforated clay media. Once again, issues, sorry about that guys. Um, the perforated clay media in the front and in the back you get the jersey scrubber. So it doubles as a great scrub sponge for those who are dealing uh, with bug guts and that kind of stuff. So instead of having uh, your bug sponge on one hand and having the clay media in the other hand, it's a combination, right? So you're claying, if you need uh, a bit of bug removal, well, you can switch it to the other side and you get this kind of jersey uh, backed material. So it is very, very practical. This is also great because it's compact. If you want to use for um, decontaminating glass and your windshield and things like that, this works quite well. Uh, the ergonomics are good for the way you have it uh, inside your um, into your hand and last but not least the other form is the clay mitt just like this so that same perforated synthetic clay material but in the form of a clay mitt so you put your hand inside there and what are the advantages of this well first of all Levi himself uh, who has um, issues with arthritis he can't necessarily pick things up very easily or uh, fold his hands up or they're not maybe um, as good as they used to when he was younger unfortunately so he loves a sponge or a mitt like this I should say because you just slide your hand in there and you start scrubbing the surface now this will not allow you to go in the same uh, more intricate areas like the towel will however the advantage of this 
one is if you're doing uh, a lot of heavy volume, if you're in a professional detailing setting in a shop and you uh, have to knock out a lot of uh, vehicles in a day, this allows you to cover a lot of area very quickly, especially the larger panels, right? Because uh, it's pretty big, it's a mitt, and then you're gliding this around in a matter of a few minutes, you pretty much did the entire vehicle. So that's one of the advantages of the, um, the mitt itself. And just some people don't like holding on to towels. So if that's not for you, you have this other option where you can have the mitt. Now, there are other companies that make some very, very high quality. So again, from the rag company, uh, the grade is fine grade for all three of their media. Uh, they also have an ultra um, clay bar. And so if you want a clay bar, by the way, so these are either fine or in the case of the DIY detail, ultra fine materials, or they're on the lighter side for let's say moderate to medium type of contamination. If you have a lot of heavy contamination, the surface feels more like sandpaper and it's again, heavily contaminated, you perhaps will have to move on to a traditional clay bar. They're more aggressive, so they're gonna pull a lot more of that dirt and grit and grime uh, out of the paintwork if that's what you need. So assess the surface, right? Once you're done cleaning the vehicle, you always clay a clean vehicle, by the way, that's my recommendation. Uh, you don't wanna clay a dirty vehicle, help yourself to less uh, chances of marring the, the paint. So wash the vehicle first and then run your fingers either in a plastic bag uh, or you can use a credit card as well. Lightly scrub it on the surface and listen or feel with your fingers in the plastic baggie. We call it the plastic baggie test. Uh, feel the surface and if you feel any contamination, if it feels like a sandpaper-like texture, uh, if you feel any grit, that usually means that it's time to clay the surface. You only clay uh, paintwork that needs it, by the way. If it feels glass smooth, you can skip the clay stage. It's not needed. But usually uh, every a few months, especially if it's a daily driver, you want to feel that surface. And if you do feel contamination, uh, you want to remove those off the paintwork. And there's chemical ways of doing that for brake dust, iron dust with iron removers. Uh, for tar deposits, you can use tar removers. But there's other embedded contamination that only clay material will remove because it's a physical way of grabbing that contamination out of the clear coat and of course flushing it away. In the case of these, you just have to rinse them off. So uh, let's get back to D. DIY detail. So they have what they call their perforated synthetic decontamination towel. It's a 1212 uh, size. It's microfiber backed uh, by this diamond weave pattern, a very, very tight weave in the back. There we go. You can have a better look at that. And so, uh, yeah, you have that great perforated material in the front. This here is ultra fine grade compared to the rag company towel. This is a fine grade. So it's a bit coarser, but still very safe uh, on the surface. So this one too will not mar the, uh, the surface and you can use this in many ways. And they have a great bunch of products that we're gonna talk about. But first, I also want to mention uh, McKees 37. They also have a clay mitt that uses a bit of that quality perforated clay material in front there. So clay mitt backed by a diamond weave microfiber. Uh, and yeah, uh, don't ask me if they're all made at the same place. I don't have the answer to that. Uh, but yeah, with synthetic clay media, by the way, you do not want to use any solvents. So do not use tar removers. With these, uh, with the ones from the rag company, they say you can use an APC uh, with them to clean them, no problem. You can follow their instructions. Uh, you can also use some iron removers, but not all of them if you wanna do kind of a clay and iron removal at the same time. I'm gonna talk about this a bit later in the video, uh, but make sure that those iron removers do not contain any solvents in them, crucial, because you don't wanna break down that synthetic clay media. And also, um, a lot of good quality iron removers, they have a bit of surfactants in them, uh, including the one from DIY Detail, so they add more lubrication on the surface, so that's a good thing. So not all iron removers can be used as clay lubricants, keep that in mind. So yeah, great synthetic towel, super high quality, and again, uh, they've tested this for over six months, every single day on 20 different vehicles, and it was still going, so clay media lasts forever. You can possibly get 50, 100 plus uses. Uh, of course, it depends on the use, the level of contamination, but you get way more uses out of a synthetic clay media compared to a traditional clay bar. So you get those same characteristics uh, as the rag company the main difference being the uh, this one is ultra fine also the rag company I think one uh, reason they went with this light blue is so you can see the dirt uh, and contamination better on that light colored surface so that is a, a cool neat trick 
Now, what are the things that you can do with this clay material? First of all, again, uh, I really, really like these and uh, this is my main go-to. I like the clay towels the best. So the one from uh, DIY Detail and of course the um, Ultra Clay Towel from the Rag Company are currently my two favorite ones. Uh, I love the fact that you can fold them in four. They distribute the force evenly. They release more of that uh, lubrication. So if you're using a rinseless wash on the surface or if you have a sudsy foamy solution from your wash bucket uh, and you press too hard on the surface, it's gonna release more of that, of that lubrication, less chances of marring the paint once again, uh, and just super practical, rinse away, let it air dry, and uh, you're good to go. Now, there are many things that you can do to be more efficient with your time, uh, especially if you're a professional detailer out there, whether you're mobile or in a detail shop uh, setting. You always want efficiency because time is money, or even if you're a DIYer or an enthusiast or weekend warrior, however you want to call it, uh, time is of essence. You want to spend more time with your family, and sometimes you want to combine some steps if it's possible. So, with the Rag Company uh, clay towel and with the DIY detail, the first thing you can do, uh, there's also PNS, by the way, they have uh, a clay towel. I think they're sourced or uh, produced by the same guys as the Rag Company. Don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, it's the same quality as these guys. So the PNS uh, towel, again, I'll, I'll leave all the links in the description are pretty good too. So the first thing you can do is what we call a clay and seal. So combined the mechanical decontamination of your clay media, the synthetic clay media, along with a paint sealant. So one of the classic ones that used in the industry is PNS Beadmaker. So this is known as Moneymaker because it adds gloss uh, and a lot of slickness on the surface. Uh, but this is cool to combine two steps in one. So you're done washing your car. If you have the, if you're doing a rinseless car wash, leave that rinseless solution on the surface. If you did a traditional car wash, you can rinse the suds off, and you're gonna dunk your um, uh, your towel or your sponge or your um, synthetic clay mitt inside the wash solution, and on the surface you are going to spray four to six sprays of this per panel, so the bead maker, and it's gonna act as your clay lubricant. So you're going to be using both the mechanical abilities of the clay towel or your clay media, along with the um, sealing properties and the beading and the gloss and the slickness of this, so it's a two-in-one. So directly, if you're using the rinseless wash technique, you're gonna spray the bead maker on the surface and you're gonna start uh, claying with the clay towel. And again, if you're using traditional uh, soapy solution, you're gonna wash your car, rinse it off, and then in your wash bucket, you're gonna dunk your clay media inside there to have that soapy solution. You're gonna spray the uh, bead maker on the surface a few sprays there to act as a lubricant, and you clay away, and that is it. Uh, once you're done, you just have to use your microfiber drying towel to dry the surface, and you're good to go. So you're gonna have a glossy, slick surface that's also decontaminated, so two steps in one, saving you a lot, a lot of time. Now, if you have the the um, DIY detail, you want to stay within the same brand, or even if you have the Rag Company uh, Clay Media or the McKees 37 or the PNS, again, any one of those high quality synthetic clay medias, you can use uh, one of two products from DIY detail that are perfect to use with the uh, synthetic clay towels or the other clay medias, for example. The first one being quick beads. So this is typically used as a spray-on rinse-off sealant. It's graphene infused, so always shake the bottle well to distribute the contents evenly with this one. But what you would do with this is with either your rinseless wash on the surface or with your soapy solution in your wash bucket, if you're doing the traditional method, you're going to spray one to two sprays of this directly on the surface of your towel or clay media, and you're going to start claying on the surface. So this acts not only as your clay lube once again, uh, but it's also going to add that gloss, that slick and even longer protection compared to Beadmaker because this one here lasts even longer. So that was one neat trick. They have a video on this on the DIY Detail YouTube channel, by the way. Uh, or the other one that they have is Ceramic Gloss. So this is kind of like their detail spray with ceramic technology. So you could spray this either in the towel for this one or on the surface. It's gonna act as a clay lube, but once again, it's gonna give you that slickness, that protection, and crazy gloss from the product. So a great combination if you want to clay and seal at the same time. You have your synthetic clay media, and you have your um, quick detail spray from either DIY Detail, PNS Beadmaker, whatever detail spray uh, you guys really like, or whatever paint sealant that you could use as 
as a clay lubricant at the same time. So you're doing two steps in one. The other thing that a lot of pro detailers like to save in time, but that can also apply to you if you're a DIY detailer uh, or an enthusiast or a weekend warrior, you wanna save some time, right? Uh, and combine some steps. So you would use an iron remover with your clay towel. So you're combining the chemical decontamination at the same time as the mechanical decontamination with your clay media. Now, be very careful. Uh, I don't know all the possible combinations possible out there. You're gonna have to do your own testing. Of course, test on inconspicuous areas first, but not all iron removers can be used with these synthetic clay materials. And for sure, do not use iron removers with traditional clay bars because you are going to degrade the material in there. There's gonna be a chemical reaction. You're gonna fray them and uh, it's not good for traditional clay. So. For use with this synthetic clay, like the DIY um, perforated synthetic decontamination towel, you can use the DIY detail iron remover spray. This one here has a bit of surfactants in there, so it's also gonna suds up and foam up when you're agitating it on the surface, so it adds even more lubrication. And there's no solvents in there, so nothing that's going to be detrimental to your synthetic clay media. Uh, I also like CarPro Iron X for this, that works super well. Uh, but again, make sure you use iron removers that do not contain any solvents in them. And ideally, if you have some that have surfactants for higher lubrication capabilities, the better. So this combination I know works quite well. Uh, so the DIY detail iron remover and the DIY detail clay towel. You can also use the clay media, uh, again, from the rag company, uh, McKees 37, and also the PNS decontamination towel, no issues. So what you would do in this case is you washed your vehicle. Once again, if you did a rinseless wash technique, leave the rinseless wash on the surface. If you washed your vehicle using the traditional uh, soap bucket and uh, wash mitts type of procedure, you're going to rinse the surface after washing. You're going to dunk your um, uh, clay media inside the wash bucket. And what you're gonna do now, it's gonna have all that soapy solution, or in the case of a rinseless wash, well, the uh, lubrication is already on the surface with your rinseless wash. You would take your iron remover, one or two sprays directly on the towel, one spray on the panel that you're going to be decontaminating. You're going to put the towel itself directly on the spray spot that you applied to on the panel, and you're going to start to wipe the surface gently, and you're going to remove the iron, and you're also going to be uh, decontaminating and agitating mechanically with the clay towel. So you did kind of a two-in-one step. And then if you're working outside, rinse the panel immediately, work panel per panel. If you're in a controlled environment like I, like I am, you can do the entire vehicle without worrying about the products drying on the surface because you do not want to let iron removers dry on the surface and do not use them in direct sunlight. So work in the shade on a cool surface, never let iron removers dry on the surface. So you go your, around your entire vehicle, again, moving panel per panel. So for each panel, one to two sprays directly on the towel, another spray on the panel itself, put the towel back or the clay media on the spot where you sprayed on the panel, and then you decontaminate that panel, move on to the next one. And there you go, you combine both step. I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, with the DIY detailed clay towels, by the way, do not use any all-purpose cleaners, no tar removers uh, with that, and no water spot removers either. Uh, the same applies to the rag company, um, not quite though, but you can use iron removers with these. They say you can use an APC to clean them. With DIY detail, do not use any APC. Uh, and so no solvents with this, so no tar removers on this and do not use um, any water spot removers with the, um, the clay towels, that is crucial too. With the rag company, I think you can still use bug removers. I, I think I remember Levi or Anthony saying that you can use bug removers, but do not use those type of chemicals with the DIY detail towel. You wanna maintain the integrity of that synthetic um, detailing towel. Uh, again, if you wanna dig uh, deeper into all the detailing 101 basics that you need to know uh, for beginners, I have a series for washing, um, iron removal, tar removal, uh, clay barring, uh, machine polishing your paint, applying protection, whether it's a wax, a paint sealant, a ceramic coating, or a graphene coating. Check out those videos in the description under this video. Uh, also in the description, I'll include the links to all of the products that I spoke about today for you guys to check them out. I hope you enjoyed this. If it's the case, smash the thumbs up button to show me your support uh, and share this video with anyone that might benefit from this information. What did you guys think? Did you use any of these clay media, by the way? Drop a comment in the comment section, I'm curious. I always like to read your guys' feedback. Uh, so once again, we had the Rag Company Ultra Clay Towel, the Rag Company Ultra Clay Mitt, 
the Rag Company Ultra Clay Scrubber or Scrub Sponge with that jersey backing for the bugs. The uh, DIY Detail Perforated Synthetic Decontamination Towel. Mickey's 37, uh, the uh, Clay Mitt. And also the uh, PNS Clay Towel that is another one I don't have here at the moment. Uh, but oh, that works uh, super, super well. So if you have any feedback to give us on your experience with either one of these products, let us know. In the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.